Hello everyone, welcome back to Cobalt Core. We're in Act 3 of the first run here. Which, you know, as I said, I'm splitting up because I'm a slow player. So, I didn't want to do a two and a half hour video. So where the ship's been taking us. It's the same energy signature as the Cobalt's warp drive. Without containment shielding, too much energy. It's pretty, let's kill it. Uh, anything... I mean, weakening hull seems pretty cool, right? Yep, I like getting that out of the way. Multi-shot and move, or...? It is nice to get in some damage, but I think... Oh, I have extra energy. Okay, options first, then. Certainly should have done that before it weakened. No, I did the weaken first. Right, I forgot I have so much energy. What did I? Glass cannon. I just cannons are weak. Yes, don't forget this. Uh, one energy. Let's go with the shield surge. I think adds two and a third shield, and all of it is useful. Apply status effect to itself. Oh, the enemy, not necessarily to this section. There's three temp shields, so bad time to be attacking. Try a panic? Move two in a random direction? I think both directions would be... F well, left is kind of sucky. No, it just leaves me basically where I am now. Left would be fine, right would be fine. Yes, panic. Although, if I want to attack, I should do that first. But I don't really, right? I mean, block shot, I guess I could do. Great. Endless magazine. Well, I'm thinking I should have played the block shot. But that's only because I dodged panicked right. If I had panicked left, I think I'd... No, I'm gonna lunge now. Sure. Whee! Miles away. Yeah, this applied extra power drive. Sure. If I could take something with selective memory, what would it even be? Options? I love options. Let's not do that, though. Let's just draw a shot. And chip shot, and multi shot, and block. And dodge, and lunge, and dodge. Masterful. <laughs> okay, this enemy. Hey, you lined it. You lined up with me. Don't you know it's my overcharger turn? Look at this. You big idiot. Oh. Sadly, I can't get to my laser superpower thing right now. Uh. I mean, I think chip shot is an easy play. <laughs> uh, yeah, chip shot for four. We like that. Options B? Draw shot A? More draw shots? Can't get to that laser thing, huh? Multi shot for eight? Can't quite get the kill, apparently. Ah. Oh, actually, this selected memory doesn't draw, right? Draw one card of each color, second opinion. So if I happened to hit charge beam, it would be four. But I already have a deal four. Okay, so you lived this time. See ya.
Okay, let's optimize Dizzy a little bit. Shield Surge. I'm not going to worry about the Overcharger. Block Shot, get wrecked. Why am I getting all these orange cards? I mean, I love orange cards. Ah, Panic A is flippable. That seems better than B. A has another attack on it, but you can't choose the direction. Panic A is a move two that you can direct, and it also shields. That's kind of cool. My deck is, like, a little chunky, though. I assume Juke, yeah, one of them you get to choose? No. Oh, move two, and then you can evade as well. That's kind of funny. Um, I mean, I don't know. I love options. But I don't think I really need it that much here. Panic being flippable, I don't think that's that amazing. Maybe it, w maybe it is. I love adding shields. Fine, I'll take Panic. Uh, two elites in a row here. That's pretty cool. I guess we'll go with that. Just see how much power we can grind out. Okay, so this energy is going to give you a card. This can't be dodged. Uh-huh. Missile Bay is weak. These are just attacks for two. Missile Bay is launching something. Okay. Uh, I mean, I feel kind of like an endless magazine kind of day, right? Don't forget the co cockpit is weak. Now, so is this doing two damage because it's my cockpit? Or is it doing two damage plus the cockpit damage? That's not yet clear to me. Let's just lunge. I guess. Okay, so that's plus the cockpit damage. Got it. Draw. Should have drawn first, maybe. Oh, but I have enough energy to still do this. Because I started the turn with five, because I had like the generator and glass cannon going off. So now let's weaken this. Oh, I somehow thought I could still play Endless Magazine, but of course I can't. Options. Or Pulse Barrier could be okay. But I love cards so much. And then I'll just scoot over to take less damage. Fumes you have shuffled into my deck. Okay, this is... I guess it's basically dazed. Except you can keep it in your deck if you want. <laughs> okay, so this does two damage and can't miss. That's annoying. Panic this way, please. Attack for zero is kind of weak. Like, in some ways, brittle is not as good as you know weak. These panics would be doing more damage, but I mean, with the, the combo with charge beam is well worth it. I think. Let's block shot. Also, like, <laughs> that's just a lot of damage. Can't be too mad that it doesn't work so well with some effects. Um. I think I'm just going to tank this shield. I have plenty of... Plenty of shields. I could use this. The, the one shield would be wasted. I think I'm just going to basic dodge, actually. The temp shield would be useful, but the one shield being wasted... I'll just, I'll just tank. Oh, I'm in... Oh, whoops. This takes one more, so I'm actually being attacked for three. Oh, that's maybe not so hot. Oh, well. 
Ow. Enemy is at eight. Can you guys shut up? Alright, this is lethal, right? Um... We don't have to kill here, necessarily. But I'm not gonna try and grind out Overcharge, because like, Overclock Generator on two is a good number anyway. So just play a couple of these cards, these blue cards, and then hit them hit for eight. Wave Beam. This is a two energy exhausting card that gives you a zero energy exhausting deal two. So why, why I wonder, does this not, oh, I bet it's something to do with upgrades. Why isn't this just two man, two energy deal two? Yeah, it's because they want to give it more flexibility. Like, uh, I don't know. These both seem kind of. I don't. I don't want that card. Uh, I am a little tempted by Stun Shot A. Eh? It does extra damage and stunning is kind of cool. I think I'll just skip. It needs a bunch of stinky commons. Shuffle all your ship parts. Uh, I mean, I've seen what this does. It's kind of funny. It reorders the pieces of your ship. Sure. So now... I mean... The two parts that matter are still next to each other. The cannon not being centered is maybe good for evasive strats that aim to be to the left. The enemy is going to corrode itself. Corrode. Okay, so this guy has a billion hull, and the idea is it gets, it just is going to kill itself eventually, I guess. Do I have something that makes cockpits weak? Did I end up getting that? Is that why, like, enemies have weak stuff sometimes? I don't see it. I feel like my enemies just sometimes have weak stuff, and I don't know why. I think it's just like, that's what this a feature of this ship. But, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh... This has armor. Oh, let's just try panicking, I guess. When in doubt, panic? so bad it's not great <laughs> wait was that the flippable panic was that the one I could have aimed no okay second opinions anybody this all still sort of stinks shield shield surge ah what did I click basic dodge uh, Shield Surge seems fine. A block shot, I guess. A multi shot, maybe? We happen to be aiming at the weak part right now, so I guess multi shot first is pretty cool. And then the block shot. The order there doesn't matter, but I have to do both of those things before moving. The weak and the armor cancel out here, and we're just taking two, which we're blocking. Mostly with temp shield, or half with temp shield. Yeah, so it gets extra corrode every turn, I guess. Good, I guess. Kind of the wrong place to do it. Maybe I should have moved. Ooh, if I weaken this, 
Do I have enough evade to still be okay? Because then it would be like, instead of armored, it would be weak. Or brittle, rather. That would be pretty cool, I think. Yeah, okay, and then... <clears throat> maybe, like, get out of here? I still have energy, right. Wow, okay. Well, so let's panic A to the right. And apply a... nothing. Yeah, I mean this this stops three damage. I think that's good enough. What if I scoot to the right here, shoot a bit, and then move back? I don't really want to spend my evade. What if I just go left? This is armored too, huh? Well done. Multi-shot... Endless Magazine, and Panic. I understand. Um... Dodging left with panic would be somewhat unlucky. I'd like to get a shot in here, I guess. Let's move left, chip shot, and then panic. Then whichever way it takes me is sort of fine. Great. Let's lunge out of there, scramble, shield. Attack for four. I mean, the enemy is still at 19. It's kind of a lot. Options? Mm, yeah. Actually, let's get the block shot back in the discard before playing options. I think it's a card I'd like to draw regularly. Draw shot again? Except Charge Beam missed the shuffle again. Sad. Yeah, there's the... No, Block Shot! I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm fully blocked. So, it... But it's still, like, three damage. Why am I shooting at this part, by the way? I guess because I don't want to go even... You know, I should I have just done this before all this started. Whoops. Why attack for two instead of three? You, your guess is as good as mine. Okay, this, I mean, we should win here, right? Enemies at eight. Selective memory up the pan, uh, the charge beam. It's only four damage, but that's quite a lot. Oh, six? That counts as being drawn? It says drawn. Selective memory doesn't say draw, it says put it in your hand. But okay, I accept. That was the weak spot, not the uh, brittle spot. That's fine. Um, chip shot. Get chipped. That was Rusting Colossus. Stun Source B. Costs four. Every turn... Your next action, your first action stuns. And also it attacks for four and stuns when you play it. Five because of our dizzy buff. It's pretty expensive. 
you know, with Glass Cannon, we could play it any turn we want. Huh. Shield gun, eh. I mean, it's it's a lot of damage, but this this is what excites me. Stunning is kind of cool. And especially with a weak cockpit, stunning the part opposite the cockpit is kind of nice, I think. I'll take it. Cockpit lock on. Cockpits are always weak. Sure. Heal one, don't make me laugh. Okay, I guess I'll take this one. Enemy cockpits are weak. Elite, please. Oh yeah, this, this by the way, this quote I, I saw when I was watching someone else's game. I, I kind of like that they put this in here. Um, this place is not a place of honor. No highly esteemed deed is commemorated here. This is a famous quote. I will tell you about it when I'm done reading it. Uh, this message is a warning about danger. Uh, and then it, it, there's, I think there's more to it. But this is, um, I don't know if it's actually, I think it is, right? This is what they write on, like, nuclear waste dump sites. Or not dumps, or I don't know, but, like, wherever they... They, they put this in, a, you know, a bunch of languages, and, and I assume in addition to iconography and stuff, with the idea that, like, you know, suppose that civilization has collapsed, and, like, a thousand years from now, people come along this. Um... You know, you're going to have a highly guard, not guarded, but protected kind of dump site. You don't want people to accidentally find the nuclear waste. But, like, if you put up a bunch of protective barrier around stuff, it looks like, ooh, what could be buried here that was so important? They had to put up all these heavy metal walls and stuff. Let's break in and check it out, right? Um, you know, kind of like looting the pyramids that... Um, like, supposedly had mummies curses and so on, right? And everyone's like, I gotta loot these pyramids. So the idea is, like, you know, put words that mean danger and so on. You know, this is not a place of honor. No great deed is commemorated here or whatever. Like, this isn't something we're guarding because we want to keep it. And you want to take it. Like, anyway, I don't know. It's just kind of cool that they put this in here. A warning left by a dead civilization. They feared their own creation enough to seal it away here for eons. A haunting reminder for the fragility of life and the hubris of the living. Let's get digging! Yeah, which is what you would expect would probably happen in such a scenario. Ah yes, focus on their cockpit. Oh, they have two cockpits. So this, in this fight, this guy, like, when you shoot him, he wakes up. This is like Lagavulin. And you can't dodge too far. Midrow objects shifted into the hole are to the wall are destroyed. I don't know if he's gonna wake up if I do nothing. I'm kind of interested to find out. So let's just send this magazine and pass. Actually, I mean, lunge right is pretty good. Let's just do it. Yeah. So he wakes up. Very funny. Shield surge is fine. I could dodge more to the right to take one instead of taking three. Using this to prevent two damage. I guess that's good enough. Hey! You're, I can't move, I can't dodge this, how dare you? How much health are you at? 18. Stun source. I have three evade, that's exactly enough to get over here and stun this, which would be pretty cool. And on the way, I can take a chip shot at this weak cockpit. Why six? 
Oh, it's an overcharged turn and the dizzy uh, bonus. Nice. Boom. Powering down weapons. And I'll block as well. Oh, I should have done this. No, I, I, I had... I had to order the four before the the one uh, energy because I get a refund, not a discount. All right, this fight looks pretty easy. Weaken hull multi shot or something? Like you're at five, idiot! What are you supposed to do? Okay, easy. That was an elite fight? Payback. Whenever hit, shoot back for one and gain a shield. Ace A. Gain evade every turn. Ooh. I love evade. It's so good. Now, both of these cost two. Because of our discount. I mean, kind of. Payback is um, obviously it's three with a refund of two of one, not a discount of one. In principle, you know, a three cost rare should have a stronger effect than a two cost rare. So if we have this discount, we should be inclined to take threes. I think this is too dangerous. Like, you might accidentally shoot at something you don't want to hit. Like a mid-row object that's protecting you from damage, for example. I'm just going to grab Ace. I love... I love powers. Alright, sharp edges. When you discard a shuffle, the enemy loses one. We like shuffling. We try to do it often. When you heal, heal more. Don't make me laugh. You'll want every combat? No, give me sharp edges. Quick draw. Draw two cards on turn one. It's bag of prep. I'll take it. So any cool upgrades in here, maybe? What's what's the deal with multi-shot? Oh, actually. Apparently you can't right-click to preview unless you're when you're in the upgrade screen. So we could do... Oh, piercing's kind of funny. I don't think multi-shot is something we would want to upgrade. I'm just curious. Lunge, you can either make it flippable or attack more. Yeah, I don't think you would want to upgrade second opinions. Um, selective memory. Ah... Draw or discard pile. That actually is quite a bit better. Because then it really can get you anything. Yeah, this we can't upgrade, obviously. Oh, I was going to say, isn't this strictly better? Because temp shield is worse than permanent shield? But no. If you're maxed out on shields... Oh, this is shield capacity. So it's two temp shield and one capacity. Interesting. That does seem kind of good. But I think I want, like, more draw or throw away a basic dodge. I think those are the reasonable choices. Panic B sucks ass, by the way. I don't know. I mean, it moves and shields. It's fine. Um, the, I assume this actually does upgrade. Yeah, but it sucks, obviously. Yeah, let's let's just remove basic dodge. I don't think I'm dying to have any of these upgrades. If fired, we'll move out of the way. It looks like they might be charging that up automatically every turn, is the idea. Okay. Options, I guess, right? Nothing here looks... I mean, I guess I could... Panic A to get in range and shoot them. Why? Why? 
think I'm more inclined to want to run right. Let's hang on to the panic until we see what options we have. Endless Magazine's a good one. Panic to the right. Shield up. I have so many cards! Why do I have so many cards? I know I drew two extra from options B. And I know I had this in hand. Should I then just have eight cards though? You should draw five. I started with, you keep this one. That's six, and then two more from options B. I should have eight cards, but I have nine. Chip shot was added to my hand. Got it, okay. Well, let's chip shot them here to use up their dodge. And then, well, this one doesn't even have a cockpit, funny. Let's It's tempting to weaken the hull. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Weaken the hull here. This is such a useful effect. And then I could shoot at them. I have plenty of shields, why not? I was thinking of applying ace instead, but actually I think just pummeling the shit out of them is a good idea. I won't use this to block three, because I have plenty of shield and I'd rather use it to chase them down and kill them. Chip shot here is fine. And I have plenty of evasion to shoot them for 12. Button mash. Block three, move left three, evade one. I don't think that's actually all that good. Um, because we kind of have too much shield a lot of the times anyway. I do like Scoot A, though. A flippable move three is a lot. And there's, there's cards I would remove here, but I think I'd rather just upgrade. I got rid of all the basics. Now I can enjoy my upgrades. Um... Kind of tempting. Might just be draw shot. I love, love, love cards when we have all this energy and rewards for shuffling our deck. I think that's the way to go. All right, final boss time. Our final waypoint. Cobalt is embedded in that. We're ready. Yeah, don't look nervous. How many times have we been here? Oh, zero times. You'll do great. Good luck. Okay, so final boss, what do we have here? It's armored and concussible. This is a cannon, but it's weak. Is there a cockpit somewhere? I guess not. But this is weak, maybe because of our artifact that makes cockpits weak? Probably just because it's always weak, if I had to guess. Okay, um, I mean, there's certainly a lot of damage at the moment. Not a very good opening hand, I have to say. Um, 
It's nice to have five energy. I'm thinking of getting second opinions already. What is this? This is concussible. Yeah, the, all, these two middle cannons you can concuss. So we're rewarded for... Um, flexible aiming. Yeah, I think I'll actually start... Well, okay. well, if I just play all five of these cards, am I going to be happy? It's probably fine. basically taking no damage, right? Yeah, that, that wasn't such a bad turn. And the concussion here did matter. Oh, this is weak. Uh, so I would be taking three here. That's all my shield? I don't love that. Spend this to block for two, basically? That seems fine at this point. Well, we did not make a lot of progress. The stun is nice. I'd have to apply a lot of scooting to get it to, like, stun here, which would be nice. But stunning this is probably fine, right? It was expensive. You got me there. Take two, lose all the shields? Okay. We're still building up. I get one trash. So that's like slimed. You actually do have to spend the uh, energy to get rid of it. Weaken hull here seems nice. I mean, anywhere, really, but this seems fine. like to play a lot of cards here. Endless Magazine versus Ace. I think Ace is better. Because being able to just dodge all this shit is important. Obviously dodging at least this far. And I guess this far and still taking three? Ouch. Oh, this is armored. When did that happen? Was it armored all this time and I only noticed concussible? So multi shots even better than usual. It's annoying that this isn't doing anything, and this is where I want to apply the, all the stunning, right? So maybe I panic B. If I stun here, it's like fine. Oh, this part's empty. Attacking here does nothing. So part the panic stun would be wasted. Let's scoot over here. Hmm. Uh, 
block shot. It's a ton of damage. Draw shot. There's that endless magazine. Do I want it? Multi-shot is doing a lot this turn. Probably more than Endless Magazine will do over the course of the combat, honestly. Still taking a lot. Let's lunge, I guess? Now it's just one. No, it's two. If I scooch, I can make it one. That seems worth doing. But I'm not going to spend three more scooches to reduce it to zero. We have two shields. Oh, lining yourself right up, huh? This is not a kill, so we'll wait on it. No trash, please. Mm. This is certainly better than... Well, no, I guess it's not better than Lunge, because Lunge does damage to shields. Let's shield surge. And I think I... Two want to panic to the right. Uh, this is tempting, but I think options B is too important. I timed all this wrong. Should have done that first, obviously. Cycling the deck. Very important stuff. a missile. Okay. Let's just scoot over and keep shooting at the weak spot. Draw. Now how much damage is charged right now? It's four but actually six. If we double that to twelve, we're not quite there but we're close. Block shot A would do it, right? Okay. So let's selective memory the charge beam. It does go up to six. Okay, easy. We just had to get set up, take a little damage while getting our powers online. Okay, what's happening? Systems report. Cobalt went critical. Wow. Emergency blast door is sealed. Yep, can't sustain this. It's melting. We beat the cobalt. What are we supposed to do? Hello. We have like 30 seconds left to live. Yeah, we're broken. Our poor shattered time stream. You can help, but there's other souls. Like Isaacs and Max, and two others. Who shall I repair first? Yeah, go ahead and repair rigs. I love rigs. Those draw cards are sick. Be still. Broken time stream. My memories are hazy. Yes. So each each of our potential... I guess there's just a total of six? And we've now unlocked Isaac. Um, each of them has three memories. And with that, I guess you piece together the story of what happened. So 124 days ago. Four months? Three months? Yeah, Cobalt. So Cobalt is like a space station, I guess? This is Artemis, requesting docking. Yep, state your cargo and passenger roster. Yep, water, rations, and science equipment. That is a lot of water. But I guess we're in a big ship, okay? 30, 30 tons of water. 
Oh, and that's Perry, by the way. I'm Riggs is a delivery pilot. Okay, so we're Riggs is the delivery pilot. And Perry works on the Cobalt. I mean, I guess everybody probably does. I do actually find this part of the, like, plot kind of interesting, right? The, the characters bantering back and forth, like, some of those are cute. Most of the time it's just kind of distracting or uninteresting. I, the, the reactions to stuff that happens in combat, I think, are more interesting than, like, oh, you know, wow, welcome to the shop. You know, okay, at the shop in every game, the shopkeeper says something, but, like, I don't know. You know, five five messages about how we're... But this part I find kind of interesting, trying to piece together what happened. Sure, I, I can get on board with that. And we made it. Hull damage taken, five. Uh, two in sector, in, in act one, I think. And it must have been three in this last fight. Uh, seemed like, obviously, a very strong, unbeatable ship. So that's what, what you expect at normal difficulties. We unlocked Isaac, who uh, likes to make drones and missiles in the mid-row. Or manipulate them in general as well as make them so it only listed these two but then i guess these can oh this is like mm, maybe expansion content someday or maybe a secret unlock that they don't want to tell you how to do i'm not sure uh and then you can just switch to whatever difficulty you want for a future run I still think hard is likely to be very easy. Um, harder would maybe be more interesting. Corrupted core, I think, is Ascender's Bane. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, it's it's fun so far. Um, oh, there's different ships. Uh, and, and figuring out how to, like, you know, use the different crew members' pieces, you know, I don't know, I, I like it so far. We'll do another one one of these days, I think. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.